Hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can force install Windows 11 to an unsupported device like the one I'm showing you now. This is an i5 6th generation laptop with only 4GB of RAM. The minimum requirements of Windows 11 is 8th gen. So this laptop is two generations behind for Windows 11 requirements. But there is a way to install Windows 11 in this laptop, and Microsoft is the one who gave the instructions. That is weird, right? I think the intention is to give people a chance to test out Windows 11. But Microsoft warns that there could be no security patches in the future for Windows 11 installed in an unsupported PC. But we don't know if that's just an empty threat or not. You can see the Microsoft's official workaround page in the video description below. What I'm doing now to this laptop is resetting it. You don't need to do this. I just want to have a fresh Windows 10 on this laptop before I say goodbye to it and install Windows 11 on top of it. Let's get started. We will need to download first the ISO file of Windows 11 installer. Let's search for Windows 11 ISO. Then go to the Microsoft's official Windows 11 download page. The link of this can also be found in the video description. From here you'll have an option to download Windows 11 installation assistant, which is not what we are looking for. Each section here also has information on what to expect and what to do. Second option is Windows 11 Media. This will create a bootable USB or DVD disk Windows 11 installer. You can read more here to know how to create a bootable installer media. Next is the ISO file download which is what we are looking for. Let's select Windows 11 here from the drop-down box. You can also read it before you start article if you want. But for me, I'm good, not going to read that anymore. Let's click the download button here. The language drop-down box will appear at the bottom. I'll be selecting English, of course. Then click the confirm button. Another button will appear at the bottom for a single option of 64-bit download, which link will last for 10 days according to this note. You also have instructions here on how to verify the downloaded ISO file. Not reading that neither. Let's click on the 64-bit download button to start downloading the ISO file. There you go, it's now downloading the 5.1GB ISO file. Download duration will depend on your internet connection speed. Once done, you should copy the file to the local drive of the laptop that you want to upgrade to Windows 11. The ISO file is now in this i5 6th gen laptop. Let's double-click the ISO file. It will automatically be mounted as a new virtual DVD drive in your PC, as you can see here. Let's open the setup.exe file. There you go. It's now preparing the installation. Here we are. It has notes here that it will need internet connection to get updates, drivers and such during the setup process, so make sure you are connected before proceeding. Let's click the next button. It's now getting the updates. The updates are installed and the setup needs to restart. OK. It has restarted. Checking the PC again. Oops, we have a problem. It's saying that the setup cannot proceed since the processor of this laptop is not supported for Windows 11 version. As I've shown you earlier, this laptop has an i5 6th gen only, and the minimum requirement for Windows 11 is 8th generation. So, I was actually expecting this error to pop up. But don't worry, we have a workaround for this which Microsoft officially published. The link for that can be found in the video description below. I apologize for the rough recording here. I cannot use OBS on this laptop to record the screen, since this laptop is too slow for OBS. Also, the setup process will reboot several times, and those parts cannot be recorded by any screen recording tools. So, I am recording the screen outside the laptop using my cell phone. Bear with me on this ugly recording. Ok, I have a note here on items that we need to do for the workaround. First, let's open the registry editor. Just search for REG, then right click on the registry editor and run it as an administrator. Then we should navigate to Computer, H key Local Machine, System, Setup, then MO Setup. This path is also available in the video description. Let me make the font bigger here, so you can see clearly. In that folder, you should look for Allow Upgrades with Unsupported TPM or CPU. If it's there, just change its value to 1. Otherwise, don't worry since we can create it. I will copy the name here. Right click on the empty space here. Then New. Select the word 32-bit value. Let's paste the value name. Then double-click it. Let's enter 1. Then click OK. We're good now. Let's double-click the ISO file again to mount, then run the setup again.
Click Next here, getting updates again. Teching PC. This is the moment of truth. There we go. The message is different now. We now have the license notice and terms now, which means the workaround that we did in the registry is effective. We need to, of course, accept this. Getting updates again. Updates is done and we now get this notice. Since our PC does not meet the minimum system requirements, it is basically notifying me that Microsoft will not be liable if the PC breaks. It also mentions that the PC will not be supported anymore and won't be entitled for updates. That's okay with me since I can roll back to Windows 10 anyway if I don't get the build 282 update later. We'll see. Let's move forward and accept this. Making sure the PC has enough space now. Alright. We are now ready to install. We have some recap here on what it will do. Let's click the install button here. And we're off. Again, I apologize for this crappy recording. It's averaging 1% per minute. This installation could take a while. Two hours later. Okay. Two hours has passed. Yes, it's a grueling two hours of waiting for it to finish to install. It's getting ready to restart now. Okay. Restarting now. A few minutes later. The laptop hasn't boot up yet. It went straight to this screen. It is working on updates again. More moments later. Okay. After another 50 minutes, we are now in the 100% mark of this initial updates. I think we are booting up now. There you go getting things ready. I'm so excited. Looks like everything works. I just hope we get a build 282 update here. If not, I'm going to roll back to Windows 10. And here we go. After about 15 minutes of initial setup, we are now booted to Windows 11. Everything looks usable and faster than before, so far. Let's check for updates. Another moment of truth here. Yes, we have an update available. Wait, these are all saying Windows 10. Let's install it anyway. Let me just check my connection here. Looks like the update cannot connect to the network. There we go. We now have the cumulative Windows 11 update. That means we can get the 282 build. So, it seems that the notes earlier are only threats. Let's install these updates now before Microsoft change its mind. Still updating here. It is taking a while as well. A little longer than a few minutes later. Alright. After another one and a half hour. Yes, that's 90 minutes, the Windows updates is finally done, and we are now restarting. It is now installing the updates. More moments later. Another 10 minutes has passed, and we are now in the login screen. Here we go. We are booted up. Let's check the about details to see if we are now on build 282. Let me just quickly show you again that this laptop is only an i5 6th gen with 4 gigs of RAM. An unsupported laptop but now running on Windows 11. Yes we are indeed now on build 2200.282. Here's a clearer look. Again, this is an unsupported laptop of i5 6th gen and 4 gigs RAM. Wow. This is great. I can't believe it works. On Windows 10 before, this laptop's boot up time takes about 7 to 10 minutes. But now on Windows 11, it just takes 1 minute and 15 seconds on average. That's 85% faster. It is a big surprise to me that this old laptop performs a lot better on Windows 11 compared to Windows 10. I'm really glad I force install Windows 11 here. Remember when I said earlier that I cannot run OBS on this laptop anymore? Because it is too slow. But guess what I am doing now? Yes. I am recording the screen of this laptop using OBS and it is running smoothly. This Windows 11 indeed feels like an upgrade. A great upgrade to this laptop which is now very usable again. I started this experiment just to know if Windows 11 can be installed on an old machine. And if it can be installed, I was expecting it to be unusable, since they are not a supported device. I was ready to roll back to Windows 10 after proving that I can install Windows 11 on this laptop. But boy, can I be more wrong? Windows 11 has given this laptop a new life. Everything is usable again. The boot up time is faster. Opening applications is faster. I can now open multiple applications at the same time again. 
And did you see that I can now use OBS on this laptop? Wow. Windows 11 has exceeded all my expectations on this experiment. If you are going to do the same though, remember that this laptop has an Intel chip, and Windows 11 is optimized for Intel. So, if your old laptop has an AMD CPU, you might want to think twice before doing this. Also, even if you have an Intel PC, my experiences could be different from yours. So, do the force install at your own risk. Also, this whole process took around 5 hours, so be sure that you have a lot of free time before starting the Force Windows 11 upgrade. But for me, I am genuinely happy with this Windows 11 upgrade on this old i5 Gen 6 laptop. All the risks and time spent on this upgrade are all worth it for me, for this specific instance. Alright. I hope this helps. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you love it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nava Air.